So today we are going to do a fun video. I went around my makeup collection and found the most expensive products that I have. I think these are the most expensive products. A lot of these are not like super high end. They're just the most expensive products that I have. So a lot of them are just like Sephora level. I have one or two luxury items, maybe a few. For the most part, they're just like high end, not luxury. So this isn't gonna be one of those completely shocking videos. But I'm also scared at how much money is in this little bin right here because I these are expensive. I feel like this video is fun for my channel because I almost do exclusively drugstore and affordable makeup products. I have not been buying many luxury or high-end items at all lately because as you guys know, for the millionth time, I'm in school, I am a student, I am on a super budget right now. Anyway, we are gonna jump in, but before we do, please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. Let's get into it. All right, loves, I don't even think I've used this primer yet. This is the Kevin Kwan Sensual Skin Primer. This guy retails for $52, $52, that's insane. So you just like, oh, it's just exploded at me. So you just squish it out of there. Next, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Cover FX Mattifying Primer. This is my absolute favorite mattifying primer out there. I'm just going to place that on my nose. Next, we're gonna prime our eyes. I definitely need a new one of these. This is just the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. This is one of the few higher end items that I live by. I just love this thing. I definitely need a new one. Okay, so I could not decide on foundation. This one is definitely the most expensive one I own, but it's too yellow for me. So I'm going to mix a little bit of the Marc Jacobs foundation as well. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This one is in shade three, and this one is in 10 Ivory Light. So I'm going to mix these, which makes it even more expensive, but this is the most expensive one I own. And this one's a dewy one, this one is a super matte one. So I'm wondering, I haven't, I don't think I've mixed these two together before. I hope it's not amazing, because this is expensive. Expensive, as Kathleen Lights would say. <laughs> We're just gonna blend this out. That is some coverage though. Oh my goodness, you guys. That looks so good though. <laughs> Ooh, smooth girl for concealer i probably have more expensive concealers but i'm just gonna go with the shape tape because it is tried and true and we know it's gonna be good the powder we're gonna use is the nars powder and translucent crystal i have not used this in forever i remember i think it was vintage or tacky said it was amazing and i never really got into it but we're gonna give it a go today so i'm just gonna put this on my neck perimeters of my face and my nose. For brows, we're gonna use some Anastasia products. This is the Brow Pomade in Blonde and also the Brow Powder in Medium Brown for the tail of my brow. I haven't used pomade in so long. I feel so, we'll see how this goes. I'll just say that. I went a little too heavy with the powder, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the Hangover X 3-in-1 Replenishing Face Primer. I'm going to set those with my MAC Pro Longwear Brow Set. I couldn't remember what it was called. All right, now we're gonna go on to eyeshadow. I have not even used this palette yet and I bought it when it first came out. This is the Huda, <laughs> I almost said it. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This thing is beautiful. I don't know why I haven't used it. I definitely have swatched it, but I have not worn it. So let's do this. Okay, we're gonna start with Eden and we're just going to put that into the crease. We're also gonna take that same shade to the lower lash line. Mm -hmm. 
I'm really drawn to this shade in the palette, so we're gonna use Amethyst. We're gonna focus this more directly in the crease. I really want to try to incorporate this shade right here. I think it's saffron. And I'm just putting it out on this outer corner. I'm going to take a little bit of shape tape and cut the crease a little bit. We're gonna use retrograde. I'm gonna use a little bit of a glitter glue. This one's by Lime Crime. And we're going to go in with Cosmic. I'm focusing that on the center of the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of retrograde and put it on the lower lash line as well. We're gonna use this Urban Decay Glitter Liner in Pyro. We're just gonna kind of blend it into that red glitter. So we're going over retrograde. I just need it to kind of look cohesive. Because I don't want the red glitter on the inner corner, but I want there to be glitter so it looks more blended. And I'm gonna put a little extra right up here. I think I actually wanna add a little bit of this glitter liner from Urban Decay as well. This is Cat Bite. And just add it with that red. I feel like this will help keep that red on as well. The most expensive liner I could find was a long comb one. I have not used like an, a legit liquid liner in so long. So we'll see how this goes. Anara's Larger Than Life Liner. This is in the black shade, which is, I think it's, is it, oh, Via Veneto. I used to be obsessed with these liners. I had the full size. This one, just a baby one. I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line and part of my waterline down here. I'm gonna take a little bit of amethyst and saffron to buff it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with mascara and lashes. This is just my mascara of choice right now. This is the Revolution one, but this one is definitely more high end. I think this guy's like $24, $22, something like that, um, $23. These are honestly probably the most expensive lashes that I have hanging around. These are $14.99. So these are the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in Instagram. So I'll pop these on and I'll be right back. So here is what we are looking at. Let's do the face, cause I need to put some contour on. I need some color back in this face. I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Contour Kit. Not that expensive, but definitely one of the pricier ones that I've kept. That is a bold contour, guys. The blush we're gonna use is Sweet Pea from Becca. Since this video is all about being extra and using my most expensive products, I bought this Kevin Aquan highlighter in Starlight as a blush topper because Jaclyn Hill told me to, so we're gonna use it. Just. Ooh, girl, that's pretty. So I'm gonna keep it a little lower. I'm gonna blend it up to where my highlight would go, but I'm definitely gonna put a brighter highlight on top of it. I used to love, love, love mixing these two highlights. These are both from Becca. One is Opal and one is Moonstone. These are pricey, but I own way too many of these because they're some of the most beautiful highlights out there.
all these two together used to be my jam. I'm gonna go over it one more time with Moonstone just because that one's a little lighter. Ugh. Oh, my cheeks are so glowy. Oh. All right, so I cheated a little bit. I used this Obsession, which is super affordable um, highlighter and just popped it on my inner corner because I want a kind of a purple glow. But I am gonna go over it with this Urban Decay Shadow and Cosmic. And I'm going to get a bunch of it on my brush, tap it off a little bit and just pop it on the inner corner. I didn't really have an expensive lip liner, so I'm gonna take this NARS satin lip pencil in, I don't know how to spell it, R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N, whatever that is. And then this Urban Decay nude lipstick in Native. So I'm going to attempt to kind of line with this NARS one, and then we're gonna put on this pinky nude. We're just going to put on a little bit of White Russian from Buxom just because it's my favorite. All right, love. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm scared to... Oh, I had a lip liner. Dang it. I forgot it. Oh, well. Well, this is it was like a transparent long comb one, but I forgot. I forgot that I threw it in there. Um, anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was something a little bit different here on my channel to do something a little more high-end. Let me know if you guys want more high-end makeup incorporated or if you like are here for the drugstore. I'm gonna try and keep it kind of balanced, but obviously I'm way more into drugstore right now because that's what I can afford. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please let me know if you have any other video ideas down below. I want all of your ideas. I would love to do lots of new things here on my channel. So any ideas you have, please leave them down below and let me know what your favorite high-end item is. What is your most favorite high-end makeup or look like high-end or luxury makeup item? If I can make any sense, let me know down below like what is worth the splurge for you. Almost all of these are really good. I really loved the foundation before I set it with the powder. I don't think the powder, like I heard so many good things about that NARS powder and I don't think it's worth it. Everything else is really good. I really did like the palette. I do think there are probably other options out there that are less expensive. I can tell you that that purple, the purple in my blood sugar palette blends so much better. That's the only one in this palette that I had any issues with. Obviously I love the blushes, the highlighters, the contour, Pretty much everything. Ugh, that Kevin Aquan like highlight blush topper that I put right here is so beautiful. Given it's subtle and you can just use a glowy blush. You guys know that I love the Shop Miss A dollar blushes. So I mean, if you want to spend the money on a lot of these products, honestly, I think the powder is the only thing that I had any issues with. And then of course the shade of the foundation does not match me anymore. So that was a little bit of a hassle because I'm feeling a little bit orange. It's really hard to tell on the monitor, but I'm feeling a little bit orange. But I feel like it's totally up to you. I used to only wear high-end makeup. I loved high-end makeup. But anyway, I think that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble here at the end. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will talk to you soon. Bye. For brows, I'm going to use both Anastasia powder. A pow <laughs> what? Girl, get it together. Oh, crrr.